My name is Kerrigan, and today I'm going to be reviewing Amanda Hair wigs. Last time I did Miss Coco, um, and I ordered them both at the same time. This one came a little later, um, but this is like the viral Amanda Hair's wig. I this is the best wig I've ever had. <laughs> um, so let's like try it out. It's like the curtain bang one. I haven't opened it yet, and yeah, it is. Let me read it off the order directly. So I had the bangs the curtain bangs the glueless lace wig with transparent hd lace with curtain bangs so this is a 250 density 13 by 4 lace in 26 inches so this is supposed to be human hair um and it's body wave and i'll attach the video that it's supposed to be with i hope it looks good like it did Nice, nice. So in the video, she has 30 inches. I got 26 just because I feel like 30 is a little long. I've had 30 before, and I was like, ooh, wee. It's a lot. I have to come back to this later. Okay, so it smells like factory. Like a factory made wig. Kind of feels, it feels like, like it feels soft, but it also feels like you can tell that maybe they did something to make there be curls in it. You can see where the bangs are, so I'm excited to see those. I don't want to uh, fuck up the curls too much because what if I have to return it? I don't have to return it. Yeah, it's uh, well made. So far, no crazy uh, feelings. There's a strap. Yeah, okay. So let's go try this on really quickly. Lace looks good. It looks like I don't even have to bleach the knots if I didn't want to. I feel like I could walk out the house with it because the roots are kind of light. Um, I probably would just for perfection. But okay, let's go try this on and I'll be right back. Okay. All right. This is actually pretty good. Um, the lace was good. I'll show you the inside of the wig later. Um, the lace, little hard, but it feels good. Um, if I could put, like, can I wear it straight out? Like right now, if I cut the lace, yeah, you could. Um, but if you wanted to bleach the knots, you could still definitely do that. If you want to tint the lace, you could still definitely do that. But could you get away with not doing that shit? Probably. Um, my only con is that this is 250 density, but it still feels kind of thin. Um, but you know, it's not, it's not uncommon for wig companies to, um, only give you a little bit of what you ask for. Like 150, 180 density, that should be feeling like thin hair. And then 250 density feels like what 180% density should feel like. But I mean, you gotta pick your battles. But this is definitely like, it feels like a good wig. If I could say how long it lasts, I would definitely say that this will last me, again, about a, a good six months. Um, you would definitely have to wash it, recurl it, and all the other good stuff. Um, but I think that you'd get away with six months with this. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely six months. Cause it's been kind of processed like keep these curls in um there's a strap in the back and the strap has like this gel on it and i love this gel that's there it's comfortable my head feels fine it can fit my head with my um thingies underneath and yeah i'm gonna do a test wear because i think that i am gonna go ahead and keep this wig um, I'm going to do a test wear today and then I'll probably, you know, wear it again for like the next two weeks and then I'll come back and do like an updated review on it just so that people can kind of like get an idea of what they're buying because nowadays people buy wigs and um, they don't last for as long as they should. Even though it says that it's human hair or processed human hair, it still doesn't last for as long as it should. So if, you, if people are spending their money on something like that, they should definitely be getting their money's worth. But overall... Would I repurchase this wig? I feel like I would repurchase it um, if I really liked it and get like the same length and density and stuff like that. I feel like I would definitely repurchase it. Would I keep wearing it as like my normal black wig? 
yeah, most likely because I like the cut and, and I'm lazy. I don't know how to cut wigs super well. I only know how to do one haircut. Everything else, I don't know how to really do. Um, and I can't do blowouts either. But to make this short and sweet, it's a good wig. Lace feels good. It feels like it's constructed well. Hair is fine. Not a lot of shedding. Um, yeah, human hair. You can dye it, do all that other shit to it, and... It feels good. Yeah, I will be keeping this. This is from Amanda Hair. Bought it with my own money, my own reveal. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you what the inside of the wig looks like. And the inside of the wig, it looks like this. So this is where your lace begins. It flows in this way on both sides. And the strap isn't sewn in, but it's still in pretty well and then you have this gel on the strap you have this gel on the strap so that it is comfortable on your skin if you wanted to put it up in a ponytail I guess you could I don't I still know how to really do that very well um, but yeah it's big enough to fit your dome and whatever you have underneath it's very well constructed especially right here and when you lift it up in the inside You can't really see where the tracks are. See, like you have to really, really look. So when you spread your hair apart, it feels fine. But yeah, this is Amanda Hair.